Good morning again, another lecture with comprehension. Uh, today the title is, Are You Getting Enough Sleep? I'm going to read and then explain as, uh, as the previous lectures. What happens if you don't get enough sleep? Randy Gardiner, a high school student in the United States, wanted to find out. He designed an experiment on the effects of sleeplessness for the school science project with Dr. William C. Dement from Stanford University and two friends watching him carefully. Gardiner stayed awake for 264 hours and 12 minutes. That's 11 days and nights without sleep. This is the first paragraph. Let's explain the beginning here, the first line, the first sentence. What happens if you don't get enough sleep? The paragraph started with a question, and I believe it is uh, the reason behind this is just to get the reader's uh, attention to continue reading, because we will be uh, curious about the results of sleeplessness. Here we have Rodiner High, uh, a school student in the United States, wanted to find out. The meaning of find out here, to discover, wanted, you can say desired, would like to. He designed an experiment on the effects of sleeplessness. So he made this kind of test just to see the result of sleeplessness. So he is after the consequences of sleeplessness. Uh, with Dr. William C. Uh, Dement from Stanford University and two friends watching him carefully. So here we have two friends with Dr. William helping uh, this student to uh, make this uh, test. Gardiner stayed awake for 264 hours and 12 minutes and this is a very long time. Uh, we can't imagine how can he pass this test which is 11 days a night without sleep. So this student stayed awake for such a long period, 11 days and nights. The second paragraph. What effect did the sleeplessness have on Gardiner? Again, the second paragraph also started with question. After the 24 hours without sleep, Gardiner started having trouble reading and watching television. The words and pictures were too blurry. By the third day, he was having trouble doing th things with his hands. By the fourth day, Gardiner was hallucinating. For example, when he saw a street sign, he thought it was a person. He also imagined he was a famous football player. Over the next few days, Gardiner's speeches be become so slowed that people couldn't understand him. He also had the trouble remembering things. By the 11th, 11th day, Gardiner couldn't pass a counting test. In the middle of the test, he simply stopped counting. He couldn't remember what he was doing. This is the second paragraph. Again, the first uh, sentence in the paragraph, also a question. What effect did the sleeplessness have on Gardiner? Again, the same reason, to arouse the reader's interest or uh, to make them uh, more interested in continue reading, to find out the result of sleeplessness. After 24 hours without sleep, Gardiner started having trouble reading and watching television. This structure is very important. Have trouble reading and watching. So you have or has or had or having, according to the tense, trouble plus verb ing, reading, watching, playing, any verb. This structure is important. Uh, you can use it, you can practice using this. Uh, help you to deliver ideas without having problems in making sentences. So, Gardiner started, started mean began, 
because here in the past be, be, begin the base and begun past and here started so we can say begun having a trouble reading and watching television so it was difficult for him to uh, read it was difficult for him to watch TV after 24 hours without sleep the words and pictures were too blurry were ambiguous were not clear for him by the third day he was having a trouble doing things again the same structure have a trouble plus ing things with his hand so after two days when two days completed by the beginning of the third day he has a trouble in doing things with his hand so it means that he loses control of his hand by the fourth day gardener was hallucinating so after four days he started to be uh, hallucinating uh, for example here the the meaning of uh, hallucinating for example when he saw a street sign he thought it was a person so he thought that this sign is simply a person okay so imagine the way of hallucinating for Gardiner uh, he also imagined he was a famous football player and uh, maybe he is really interested in football that when he started hallucinating uh, he thought he is a football famous football player over the next few days Gardiner's speech became so slow that people couldn't understand him so uh, over some days uh, his way of uh, speaking here Gardiner's speech it means his way of speaking became so slurred okay so he has difficulty in speaking also that people couldn't understand him so when he tried to talk to people people couldn't understand him he also had a trouble remembering things see here had a trouble remembering the same structure having or have or has but here it is in the post had a trouble plus ing remembering things so he has a problem with his memory by the 11th day G gardener couldn't pass a counting test so it was difficult for him to count one two three okay to keep counting numbers in the middle of the test he simply stopped counting he couldn't remember what he was doing so he was doing something which is counting but in the middle he will stop and uh, he uh, he stopped counting because he couldn't remember what he was doing okay the third paragraph when Gardiner finally went to bed he slept for 14 hours and 45 minutes the second night he slept for 12 hours the third night he slept for 10 and one half hours by the fourth night he had returned to his normal sleep schedule so here after the 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 test was uh, ended uh, the finally Gardiner went to bed and he slept for 14 hours okay deep sleep okay and 45 minutes and the second night it was 12 hours sleep and the third night for 10 and half and the fourth night he had returned to his normal sleep schedule it means it takes four nights for Gardiner to uh, sleep in the same sleep schedule he had before this test here sleep schedule uh, I would like to tell you something about collocation here we have a kind of collocation collocation uh, words that go together and you can't replace one uh, in the place of the other or you use another word instead of this word for example uh, we have timetable are the same meaning as is casual but we can say sleep is casual but we cannot say sleep timetable why it is collocation the fourth paragraph even though Gardiner recovered quickly scientists believe that going without sleep can be dangerous they say that people shouldn't repeat Randy's experiment 
Tests on white rats have shown how serious sleeplessness can be. After a few weeks without sleep, the rats start losing fur. And even though the rats ate more food than usual, they lost weight. Eventually, the rats died. Okay? The fourth paragraph started with, even though we have two clauses, uh, they have uh, contrast in meaning that here the writer uh, connect them with even though. Even though can be replaced by although. Okay? Uh, even though garden recovered quickly, scientists believe uh, that going without sleep can be dangerous. So we have two clauses and there is a contrast a meaning between them. So he, uh, here the writer connect them with even though. Again, we can use all, although instead of even though. Recovered quickly, it means he, uh, he became, became uh, uh, in good condition, okay, as usual. Uh, quickly, fast, here quickly, adverb of manner. Scientists believe that, scientists uh, think, okay, that going without sleep can be dangerous. It means this test is very dangerous. Uh, never try to do it at home. Okay, they say that people shouldn't repeat Randy's experiment. Test on white rats have shown how serious a sleeplessness can be. Here we have another test. It is more than one test because they say test on white rats, not for human, for rats. Okay, they have serious, okay, uh, problems, uh, difficult problems. Uh, it means that sleeplessness is very dangerous. Here, serious means dangerous. You can say how dangerous sleeplessness can be. After a few weeks without sleep, the rats started losing fur. So, this is one of the results, one of the effects, one of the consequences of sleeplessness. And even though the rats ate more food than usual, they lost weight. Here another, uh, even though connected to uh, clauses, uh, they have different meaning. Okay, here also we can say even though we can replace it, sorry, by although they eat uh, more food, but they lose weight. Eventually, the rats died. In the end, they died right. So here, uh, the, the passage generally talks about sleeplessness, and uh, this experiment done by this student, gardener, but it is very dangerous, very serious experiment. Don't try it at home. Thank you for listening. Uh, see you another time. Goodbye.